Welcome to the OG's podcast. My name is Manish Kata. With me, I have the resident grandpa, Jeffrey. How are you, sir? I'm doing peachy keen. You know, I got to say that. Just peachy to, keen. Just keep you on your toes. Yeah. You know that's what's coming. Well, listen, we do the OG's podcast once a quarter to provide updates uh, from the business owners of Potomac on what we're seeing, what's in the pipeline, and uh, just in general, how business is going. So let me kick this off with uh, some AUM updates. As of 6.30, we filed uh, uh, updated ADV because we had surpassed a uh, billion dollars in AUM. Uh, we're recording this on July 24th, and <laughs> that number is actually getting closer to 1.2. Uh, so things are moving fast and furious here at Potomac. The exciting part is, you know, a little over three uh, years ago, we had about 140 million. And so we laid out a plan. We we put things into movement. I know it's, you know, a, a huge growth number and, and shocking to some people, uh, but uh, probably not to you and I based on no. the, the conviction and, and, and the plan we had laid out. And so, you know, it's been fun, right? For sure. It's, it's been a fun ride. Uh, but, but with that growth, it comes a lot of growing pains uh, because, you know, we had five people um, when, you know, at that 140 million clip and uh, now, now we're we got 20, <laughs> we got 20. And so um, it, there's a lot of growing pains that, 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 are, that go along with that. And so that's kind of the second part that, that, you know, I want to dive into is, you know, we've, we've been forced to uh, kindly suggested to, or whatever, make some changes from to the business because of uh, because of these growing pains and and there are two major things that we're going through right now. First things first is um, an IT company. So you know we had a pretty strong IT and security culture already in place, but there were fifteen different tools to accomplish um, you know the cybersecurity at Potomac, and um, I was still getting emails and and uh, about uh, computer issues from employees and stuff like that. And so, you know, we, we had made the decision to hire a full time um, outsourced IT firm to come in, uh, install, you know, high end enterprise grade security, uh, get us all in the Microsoft uh, environment just to simplify, you know, uh, with Teams, Outlook, SharePoint, et cetera, uh, and also just be there for you know any any computer issues which. <laughs> I guess we're living through right now uh, yeah. as we record. Officially, how long did it take us to get ready to actually record? <laughs> oh, yeah. Lordy. So it's uh, yeah, we're at thirty minutes just to prep. So we're we're going through that transition right now, uh, and that's going to be a, a little bit of a, a, a some heartache is going to be caused by this. And so all hands are on deck to get through this. But the light at the end of the tunnel is a, a growing company that has the infrastructure in place uh, that isn't just controlled by me and you, you know, doing permission changes in the middle of the night kind of stuff, uh, an actual an IT firm. Yeah, um, the, the structure is there to keep growing. That's the, the word keep is really important to me, right? That's so you and I've had a lot of those discussions about the fact that it's, you know, we can only do so much ourselves. There is a point at which we have to set this up to be able to handle the growth that is coming at us. Correct. Second part of that is kind of operationally HR related. So to run an RIA business, you need a lot of tools, right? On an HR side, we had payroll with Gusto, 401k with Bestwell, workers comp with Next Insurance. Um, the, the list goes on and on about these different packages you have to put together. Um, and we were on a search for an all-in-one because we're big believers that even if you get a product that's 70% what you want, uh, it's still better to go down that route as long as you have it in, in under one roof versus all this disparate tools that rarely ever work. Because we've been on record that these integrations that they sell they just never work. No matter how sexy they the UI looks, um, they just never work. And so we were looking for a PEO or a co-employment where under one roof, you get literally everything that it takes to run HR uh, and, and your team uh, from payroll to benefits to 401k to insurance to disability, uh, PTO, you know, compliance, state compliance, because you know, 20 people, I think in 16 states, right. uh, introduces another level of complexity as well, right? 
And so that's, that's something that most people don't, or whether it be advisors or even other firms don't think about it because most of the, the business partners that we work with even are essentially outside of the, the outside sales, maybe everybody is still in one place and they're still, you know, going to an office or the, even if they're not going to the office, they're still all located at same locale. So this, you know, they, they might have those, you know, three or four extra states for salespeople to deal with and that's it. Um, it's been crazy. It's been talking about a learning opportunity to me is, is the, you know, as we discuss some of the problems that we've run into when we hire someone, get the right person in the right place. And then the right place we didn't think about is the right place, the right state, because it can be a total cluster. Well, I mean, and everyone has different, you know, healthcare rules and PTO rules. And, and it's just, you know, we were doing a decent job handling it, but once again, it was myself <laughs> taking time to call the state of Colorado because of an <laughs> issue with uh, unemployment account number. Yeah. Like, right. it, it's just, it's, it, it, I never wanted to do it, but when you go from five to 20 in a short period of time, you have to pick your battles on what you want to invest in and how you want to grow. And it, so it always summer, makes me, said, I, have to, I have to add this. It always makes me think if the, the old infomercial stop the insanity Right. That's that's kind of where we've seen ourselves several times over yeah. the last year. Just just stop. <laughs> well, I mean, we look, we talked about it at the beginning of the summer. We're like, all right, listen, this this is not sustainable. You know, you want to you set your business up for growth in a lot of areas. Um, and, and while sales and assets and things like that are growing, you got to make sure that the infrastructure is there. Uh, and, and a lot of that is getting us out of the 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 day to day and and it's okay i mean these are growing pains you can't you don't have the money to do all this day one right you're putting money into different places and you got to make these decisions so you know we made the decision to to move into this co-employment situation where one company comes in and handles all of that so far the uh service has been phenomenal we're excited to make that switch i know all of the employees are going through onboarding and uh getting getting all of our stuff in order um so those are the two main things that have occupied um, at least my summer outside of uh, the regular. This is my second job outside of my main job um, of, of doing yeah. the other stuff. Um, it's, uh, you know, getting these two major roadblocks with an IT firm and, and, uh, and a PEO in place. Uh, so that's progressing nicely. Uh, the, the next big thing I want to touch on is our advisor conference, uh, our due diligence annual conference. I can't, I guess I can't call it annual because we skipped a couple of years. Um, but nonetheless, that the planning for that is shaping up. Uh, so essentially what we do is uh, once a year or, or uh, <laughs> when we try to once a year, I guess. Uh, have a an goal. We conference. have a goal in mind. Goal. Yeah, we have a yeah. goal in mind. Um, and, you know, we invite our, our, our top advisors out and also new advisors who haven't, um, you know, are starting to use Potomac, but don't know the full story uh, in terms of our staff and, and whatnot. And so we, we get them all together in one place, uh, bring in outside speakers and practice management, uh, hear from the staff of Potomac, get to meet everyone. That's going to be in Omaha in the second week of October. We pick a new city every year, uh, depending on the location of different partners and staff members. And um, so the planning for that's coming nicely. We're looking at Typically, it's always been like 12 to 15 advisors. Um, this year, there's going to be 50 uh, plus 20 of us plus um, sponsors. So it's by far going to be the, the biggest event we've ever thrown. A uh, little, ner little nervous. Uh, we, we do have a, a, a planner coming in uh, to help out with some stuff, but it's, it's a big lift. It's a big lift from kind of the, the aw shucks getting together in a, in a, in a city and, and hanging out kind of thing. So um, I know yeah. you, you, you probably have more conference experience than I do, but, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a big one. Well, I think, I think the big, big answer here is the fact that we have a, an official planner coming in to help because it's, there's a point at which, you know, when you are that, that, you know, very small venue, uh, that's pretty easy. But when you start getting, you know, when you start pushing a hundred all in or, or 80 or 90 all in, it just, you, there's a lot to it. Um, and so uh, that's that's one of the things that uh, I think will be exciting to see just less of our time being used for administrative stuff and more of our time. That's I mean, across the business, really, if you if you listen to what you've been saying, it's how can we leverage other things to be able to get that stuff off of our plates, a lot of it on your plate 
and and get back to the primary jobs that we have right which is the the handling the product handling the people the relationships uh where we get in distribution all those kinds of things that's where we want to spend our time so yeah just growing pains uh which which we're solving one by one um the last thing for me from from my side is this whole uh web app update and so essentially what happened I don't know, maybe eight, actually it's happened years and years ago is, you know, we were unable to find these tech tools that really fit our use case. There's a lot of phenomenal tools out there, but it's impossible for some of these fintech companies to serve every advisor. And that became really apparent as a TAMP, uh, as a tactical manager. Uh, sometimes tools don't fit uh, how we need them. And so about eight months ago, uh, give or take, we started this process of saying, hey, let's develop our own proposal tool um, because we felt that that was our bread and butter in terms of putting models together and Max Drawdown, all the fun stuff. And then we started putting the, you know, the UI together, building the back end. And one by one, we were like, all right, well, we might as well now open the account from there as well. Why are we going to then tr you know, send that data somewhere else? And then someone came in and said, all right, well, what about change of management and service and all these different functionalities? And then it turned into this, you know, massive check development team. You know, we have uh, roughly, yeah, I think uh, four or five different, you know, fractional developers at this point. And then we sat down and said, you know what, at, at this point, we're, we're pot committed. Uh, you know, let's just go all in. And so, you know, on our, at our conference, we are going to unveil. <laughs> I hope uh, the, the the first version of uh, this web application that allow advisors on our TAMP to come in, run a proposal, do model analytics, open the account, service the account, adjust allocations when need be, uh, and 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 all in this one environment. And so we we are uh, uh, we're optimistic, uh, uh, nervous, I, but optimistic. I have a feeling that check October. Yeah, I have a feeling the check just got bigger now that you put a date on it. <laughs> no, I That's mean, listen, this invoice, was the agreed upon the date. This, yeah, yeah, they we told we went to the team and said, listen, we would like to unveil something, and not something that like other fintech where it's vaporware and it's basically just a website that doesn't work. Like we we want to be able to get in there and at least roll something out to get beta users back, right? So that's the plan. You get you need a, something that functions that on the day after the conference, I can get a username and a password to an advisor, have them come in as a beta tester, um, and then we can refine it through the end of the year. Um, right. But anyway, that we're, we're in, the, in the thick of that. Um, I, I know your team hasn't even touched the proposal side uh, to get feedback, so that's coming here soon. Um, so we're hoping to have this web app, and of course, it's Potomac, right? So we'll have a whole marketing campaign around it with the name and and some fun stuff as well in in, in the in the coming uh, coming months. Um, that's all. I don't have anything else. All right. Well, I mean, I do, on, but on, we don't have enough time. Yeah. No, on my side, I'm I'm wearing the celebration shirt. We crossed a billion dollars. I mean, just like national championships, uh, uh, you know, you got to celebrate a little so, bit. So when we for a billion dollar firm to celebrate, you wear a Hawaiian shirt. Whoop whoop! Hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. I mean, you know. Oh, good lord. Um. All right. So distribution, right? That's usually the first thing we hit, and and there are a couple more. Uh, Mid Atlantic, we've added their 401k platform, so we've got some of our product there. Um, some of our solutions there. Fusion is another TAMP that we've been able to can, can add. I, can I, yeah. I want to interrupt you for a second. This 401k stuff is like, it's it's crazy because it's it's Mid-Atlantic, it's American Trust is the new name. Right. And then I'm, Google, I'm Googling some stuff and I find that Paychex uses Mid-Atlantic as a chassis and our programs are available. So I, I get into this rut where I tell people, yeah, we're in Mid-Atlantic, but it could literally be any company Correct. plan it's it's there's the spider web runs really deep on the and we're and i'll admit maybe you're have more knowledge than me but i i'm i'm woefully ignorant on the 401k landscape when it comes to plans yeah it's a it's a crazy space because it's all about permissions and you add extra layers with the tpas and you know that anyway it, that's that's my goodness there's like three podcasts sitting there uh you know topic on 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 all the iterations yeah, so call, that, call but, us i guess reach so, out 
<laughs> so yeah, that's it's just something that we want to know. I mean, look, the reality check, right? If you're already using that chassis, then hey, here's something you might be able to bring into the mix. Um, but anyway, that so that's the the four one k piece. That's another avenue, a new avenue, something that's a little bit different than just the standard. Hey, you know, here's our stuff. Um, that's a different line of business uh, for many advisors. Yeah. Uh, sorry, then, uh, I wanted to mention yeah. that. Yeah, no, no worries. All right, so then Fusion. Uh, Fusion is another uh, another uh, TAMP. We've we've known those folks for a while now and uh, excited to finally kind of have everything in place. Um, so again, just a matter of, we wanna be where you are. We want it to be a an easy lift, right? Go where advisors are instead of making them come to us uh, for everything. And so, great, we're doing that little by little. And the next exciting step about this is the fact that I'm going to jump to staffing for just a second. We now have hired a key accounts person. So instead of you and I sort of volleyball in this volleyball in this bad boy back and forth and saying, hey, who's going to make a call? Who's going to follow up? Right. Who's going to go after another avenue that we we get a, a you know a name mentioned or a contact provided? Uh, now, in fact, it's it's we're going to have somebody who is on full time to do that instead of you and I trying to piece together, you know, our schedules to, to do those sorts of things. Um, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, you know, the reality is that we are still, you know, OPS is a big driver of assets for us. My advice architect is still a big driver of assets for us. We're gathering a lot of new relationships in those venues, along with the, the many others that we list on our website. Um, and it's, it's exciting. Uh, you know, we, we chuckled, a, you know, a year ago, um, we'd get, in fact, I looked last June, we had eight new relationships, right? So this firm and this snowball and this growth, when you look at that level, we now had over 70 last month. So year over year, go from eight to 70 new people doing business with you in a month. That's massive and it's not stopping anytime soon. So we need those boots on the ground and we have in fact hired another, uh, Mark will join us and we'll get his details out soon. Uh, 731 is his first day. He'll cover the North Central region. Um, we've hired Emilio. Uh, we'll get more info out there for the Southwest Northwest. He's going to be our internal, uh, phenomenal gentleman. Looking forward to that. Um, and like I said, Gary uh, is covering our, our key accounts and we'll work on those relationships. And it's important because not only do we have the TAMPs, which I just talked about, but not all the TAMPs had our strategies and our funds. And there's a few that only had our funds and not our strategies. So, uh, to be able to go get both that way, no matter what kind of business you, the advisor are doing, you'd be able to access what you need. I think that's a, that's gonna be a real value to go out there and level that playing field a little bit. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, that Well, that lends itself to the, the funds discussion, right? Not only, Manish, you mentioned the AUM, our mutual funds just hit three years. And so now that the Morningstar ratings, we're working on getting those in place. Uh, you know, there's a lot of platforms, a lot of advisors, a lot of shops that won't look at anything until they're three years old. And so, you know, again, when we talk about that growth, what's coming at us, this is a bigger part of the market than those, the, the, the part of the business that we talked about this last time that, that would use strategies. So our decade, multiple decades worth of experience coming to the fund level, uh, I think is going to be a real exciting move for growth moving forward. And uh, yeah, that, keep that's, a, a, go ahead. that's a weird, uh, weird space as well, because the, the whole rep SPM, a lot of times they don't talk to you. They just send money off right. and, uh, and you try to reach out and, and you're kind of that, that's a big, big switch for us because typically, you know, there's a relationship, you know, we dive in, right. there's education, there's there's back and forth. Uh, but, you know, now that the fund availability is opened up, sometimes you just you just get money thrown at you and you're not really sure where it's coming from. Right. Well, part of that, too, I think, is the availability of information, because there's all kinds of details for I mean, you know, you can go out and get free information about funds all over the place. You can't go out and get free information about models everywhere. And so, you know, that's, I think that's part of the deal, right? When information is free, people make decisions without, you know, Got without it. the discussion yep. part, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so the exciting part, since you mentioned marketing is make sure y'all take a look at the social media marketing that we are doing because we're using AI to generate a lot of our fund uh, marketing imagery. And it's uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I know we've written a blog about it and I think Christopher's done another podcast about the subject, but that's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's exciting to see what can come out of the world of AI. I mean, it, we're all just kind of touching the, barely touching the surface. So 
All right, last thing. Uh, we've got, uh, well, actually, yeah, we've got a couple of more items here. I'll make this brief, but we're, we're preparing now as we're starting to look at what conferences we already have in the autumn, you know, this fall. But now we're actually starting to dig in and again, that key accounts person to what conferences are we going to be doing in 2024? And I am so jazzed about 2024 uh, just to see what all we can put together. Because when you think about when we were planning for, for 2023, we didn't have a full sales staff. We, we had uh, two internal folks, Chase and Shelly, and we had just hired Mike, you know, in October. So the fact that we now have a, essentially a full team minus the Southwest external or Northwest, excuse me, Northwest external position. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fired up, man. I am super fired up. So we'll keep digging in, find more regional. We're doing a lot of regional meetings, which is interesting and uh, big OSJ types of meetings. So, man. 2020 the last 2023 and well also also you're cutting. getting you know marketing's working on some kick-ass booth uh that oh you're yeah gonna, uh, be able to oh, use yeah. no more no more tabletop oh, yeah. stretchy things no. you guys were stepping up huh no we're gonna we're gonna when other people see what we're doing for booth action it's, it's fire it's absolute fire there's another there's another meme for you I can't wait. We'll see this one out All there. Right, what else you got? All right, that's it for me, man. Planning for $2 billion. That's what we're doing. $2 billion. One was not enough. We're going for two. Let's see if we can do that in the next 12 months. Yeah. Come on, no, let's, let's wrap this up. I mean, look, the, bo the bottom line is the growth is there. Uh, we're both committed to continue that, even though it sucks in the short term because we're not making any more money. Um, uh, I, I feel like I'm spending money like a jilted ex-lover at this point. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're doing it for the right reasons uh, because, you know, we we want to continue to to press, to press, to press, to press, right? I mean, we both live by, you know, when when the competition is drowning, you stick a fire hose in its mouth. Um, and and that's uh, that's where we're at right now. So on that note, uh, thank you, everyone, for joining and watching the OGs. Jeff, thank you for your time. Please like, subscribe, uh, keep uh, keep bringing it to us. We We love making this content for everyone. And we will see everyone soon. Thank you. There you go. Keep on keeping on. Let's go.